Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We have a very special video for you today as we are on board the Technomar 4 Lamborghini 63. So let's get on board and we'll show you guys around. And more importantly, we're gonna show you guys the big monstrous V12s that this boat has installed. Right, so under the aft sunbed holds the twin man 2000 horsepower V12s. And I gotta tell you guys, this is an absolute work of art. So the incredible thing about these twin V12s is at 2,350 RPM, they're consuming around 400 litres per hour each, propelling this vessel at 63 knots. So Lamborghini and Technomar have certainly lived up to their reputation in producing a performance boat. So I was talking to the captain on board this vessel and he was saying to me that the shipyard have really looked at every single detail of this boat and more importantly, the weight of every single component to the extreme that every component that came on board, according to the captain, was weighed by the shipyard to see how it would affect the vessel's performance. So things like the generator, it's not a huge generator, it's just enough to keep the boat ru running. The same with the gyro stabilizer. It's not a big oversized gyro, it's just enough to keep the guests on board comfortable whilst resting at anchor. Same goes with all the batteries, everything is just enough to keep this boat performing at its maximum capacity. So this is what, 4,000 horsepower twin V12s sound like. No. There we have it guys. It's a Lamborghini, what can you get what can you expect? This Lamborghini, like I said, is based on the Lamborghini CN car. So all the design, the lines, the details is all based in the car and they've transferred that over to the maritime sector which creates a very special, unique boat and they're only going to build 63 of these. So if you want one, you need to be a special client. This exact boat is actually for sale and the asking price is 4 million euros excluding VAT. So if you want it, get in touch quickly and you can enjoy these twin V12s. So with the stern of the vessel or the aft area facing forwards, it's clear that it's based on the Lamborghini Sian. Once the engines are off, the, en the hatch is down, it's a relaxing place to be. Big aft sunbathing area straight into the cockpit where you'll see immediately all the carbon fiber features that this beautiful Lamborghini Sian inspired 63 has an offer. Big seating areas, lovely dining area here, plenty of space to enjoy your time on the water. And wherever you look on every single corner of this boat, it just reminds you the fact that it's based, inspired and designed by Lamborghini. We make our way now up to the helm station. And what can I say, it's pretty clear all Lamborghini inspired. For those of you that have been following the channel for a while, you know I personally have a Lamborghini. I'm a fan of Lamborghini. Even if you come up here, you've got the start up button, which not only you see on the Lamborghini Sian, you also see on the Aventador and uh, I believe the Huracan as well. 
The seats, full carbon fiber, proper bucket seats with the 63 inspired design. Again, Lamborghini was founded and started in 1963. And it just creates every angle of this boat from the, the engine throttles, all the angles, completely custom. The steering wheel, the startups. I mean, look at the console here, look at the readouts, all Lamborghini inspired. So if you're a fan of Lamborghini, this is certainly the right boat for you. Now, interestingly, this vessel is fitted no, this vessel is not fitted with any bow thruster because you have the joystick system. After speaking with the captain, he was saying to me that there's no bow thruster needed, that the way the engine propulsion system is designed, you can maneuver the boat side to side, back and forth, however you want, similar to that of an IPS drive, for those of you that are familiar with Volvo, without any bow thruster. So no bow thruster means what? less weight, less electronics, less battery, increasing the overall performance of this vessel. As for navigation assistance, we have the Simrad navigation uh, radar plotter. We also have the Simrad VHF radio. And I can assure you every single element behind here has all been calculated to understand how it's affecting the weight and weight distribution and performance of this boat. So now we're gonna make our way to the bow. Technomar for Lamborghini have opted for the synthetic teak because why? It reduces the weight of the vessel. The vessel offers a huge, bear in mind it's a 63 foot forward sunbathing area with your cup holders and you've got the skylight which goes down into the boat to the forward cabin. The anchoring system on this vessel is very interesting. It's all hidden away to keep those Lamborghini looking lines. In fact, you won't even see the anchor from the main deck as it's all hidden away underneath this hatch to lower the center of gravity and keep those all important, sexy Lamborghini lines. So from the foredeck, we make our way down here, the starboard side aft. It's clear, isn't it? I mean, all these panels, it's all carbon fiber. The, the swooping uh, windscreen, Lamborghini inspired. The window lines that you expect to see on the passenger or driver windows, all inspired by the Lamborghini CM, making this vessel extra special. Now, let's go down into the cabin and take a look at the accommodation. This Technomarfo Lamborghini offers a two cabin layout. As we come down into the interior, we've got you know, a decent sized galley. Again, everything in this boat is all about weight and the performance of the boat. So don't expect to get big, heavy ovens, you know, big fridges. It's all about the performance. However, they are not cutting corners on the finishing and design. Lots of suede, lots of Alcantara, as you expect to see on any Lamborghini performance car. Continuing forward, we come into the forward cabin. And it, guys, immediately it's clear, this is definitely a Lamborghini boat. You have the Lamborghini logo there, right on the bow, on the headboard, with the iconic Lamborghini stars that are pretty popular now on I guess pretty much all the new Lamborghini model cars. So this is not just a performance boat, this is certainly a boat you can spend some time on with a couple of friends, maybe some family members. If you want to chill, you've got some TV. And as we saw earlier, it was the skylight. Now what I really like about the skylight, it's got the Lamborghini inspired emblem, the logo, which is this shape that you see on all the cars. Now we continue into the head. Now, interestingly, the head is divided. So you've got the forward cabin and the port side aft cabin. We've got the carbon fiber toilet, which I can tell you this thing is like lifting up a piece of paper. It's ultra light, very cool. I love the carbon fiber weaves, lots of black Alcantara. Moving from the, the split bathroom here, we make our way aft into the port side aft cabin. Now, interestingly, you would expect the twin cabin, the berth to be quite narrow, but in this case, it's actually quite wide, so very comfortable. 
you could easily spend a weekend or a long weekend on board this boat in total comfort. Every single detail on this yacht, the sway, the Alcantara, the door handles, the locks, the lights, the storage areas, the headboards, the switches, is all coming from the, the pedigree of Lamborghini. Right, and that concludes the Tecma for Lamborghini 63. We finish here at the helm, so I think this is quite iconic, a very, very special boat indeed. Again, this particular yacht is for sale. For more details, I'll put links down below in the description box. If you were to order this, there's probably about a year or a two year waiting list. So now is your chance. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this video. I certainly enjoyed being on board this very special boat because personally, as you know, I am a Lamborghini fan and so is Tristan, the man behind the camera. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time. See you and ciao.